Hala and Gadagans, everyone. And welcome to a very special adventure we have in store for all of you. Now, you probably have heard of Sweden, which is the largest country in Northern Europe. But did you know about Little Sweden, which is located right in the middle of the United States? It's in a village named Lindsborg. It's got Swedish restaurants, Swedish desserts, Swedish art galleries, and believe me, it's famous for it. But it's also got a real problem here with gnomes. That's right, little gnomes like you see in people's gardens. Look, we've got a lot of explaining to do. So get ready to come with us because we've got a big mystery on our hands right here in Little Sweden, USA. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's go. Hi everyone and welcome to Lindsborg, an old-fashioned village tucked away in north-central Kansas. In the late 1800s, Nordic and Scandinavian immigrants settled this area in places like Denmark, Kansas and Scandia, Kansas. But in the century to come, the little town of Lindsborg would earn a famous name all its own. The word Lindsborg literally means tree castle. And this name chosen was like a self-fulfilling prophecy because in 1881, People from Lindsborg discovered on a tall hill nearby ancient Spanish coins, armor, and weapons, proving the legend of Coronado the Conquistador to be true, and putting an X on the spot where nearly 500 years ago European adventurers conducted the first treasure hunt in American history. This spot is celebrated by the villagers of Lindsborg who helped build a medieval style castle on top of the 300 foot hill for everyone to enjoy an overlooked view of the Smoky Hill Valley. Lindsborg was also at the center of the Viking Revival, a literary movement of the early 1900s which reawakened the interest in the storytelling of Vikings. And it was historians at Lindsborg's Bethany College who finally solved the mystery of Coronado de Vasquez and pinpointed the mythical location of the seven cities of gold. But it was also at Bethany College where theories were researched regarding the possibility that Vikings had visited the American Midwest almost a thousand years ago. When in 1902, a very old and out of place skeleton of a giant person, almost seven feet tall, was unearthed near Lansing, Kansas. And in 1923, a large rune stone was discovered near Heavener, Oklahoma, carved into the side of a cliff with eight runic symbols in the stone, an old hieroglyphic language used by seafaring Norsemen. The carving reads Gnomadale, which translated means Valley of the Gnomes. Bethany College is a private four-year Christian school whose campus is situated in the center of town. The most famous alumni is actually a former art teacher, the post-impressionist painter Berger Sanzen. In his spare time, Sanzen would take a folding chair and easel to Coronado Heights Hill, climb all the way to the top of the castle, and paint the majestic landscape for miles to be seen, including fields of wild sunflowers, soft blue skies, and fluffy clouds. And this tradition is still popular with many of the student artists there today. If you're ever in Lindsberg, be sure to visit the Berger Sanzen Memorial Art Gallery, an exhibit of wonderful paintings that everyone viewing will certainly love. Also in Lindsberg is the Anatoly Karpov School of Chess. Karpov is a seven-time world champion who teaches a new generation of children how to play. Chess is very popular here, and in 2004, Lindsborg was voted America's Chess City of the Year. The school was also a filming location of the 2011 family film, The Soccer Nanny. The story of a Norwegian man who arrives in Lindsborg to work as an au pair and ends up 
organizing the entire town into a soccer team. The movie also features a dance and music scene at the Swedish Pavilion. A large Swedish style building built for the 1904 World's Fair that was also used to host a grand celebration for the King of Sweden, Carl Gustav XVI, during his royal tour of America in 1976. King Carl was so pleased with the festivities that he bestowed Lindsborg with a special title, Little Sweden USA. And the celebration continues down to this day with Sphinx Hillings Fest, a biennial town fair with old world dancing, cooking demonstrations, arts and crafts, a parade, and a smorgasbord for the entire town. You will see so many special things at Hillings Fest, including wooden shoes, baskets of flowers, and the very popular Dala horses which are little red horses made of wood or ceramics that you can paint your last name on. People from Sweden like to hang these little horses on their front porches, almost like a family crest. But here in Lindsborg, there is a mystery associated with the Dala horses. For years now, someone has been going around and moving the horses, flipping them around, facing them in the wrong direction, or setting them on top of cars or mailboxes. It seems like something a jokester is doing. But as far as jokes go, it's really not all that funny. And also, why keep doing it? But this mystery took a strange turn when early one morning a local kindergartner said they looked out their window and saw someone with wheels on a dollar horse riding it down a hill like a bicycle. They said it was a gnome. Yes, you heard me correctly, a gnome. A small humanoid creature from European folklore dating back to the 16th century. Some have put forward the idea that these little one foot tall people were stowaways on the ships and in the luggage of Swedish immigrants. And now they hide and spy like trolls beneath the Smoky Hill River Bridge at the south entrance of town. Before you dismiss this as superstition, you should know that the Native Americans of the 1800s who camped along the Smoky Hill River also told stories of the little people, as they called them, who steal things and cause mischief. Whether or how much these folk tales were influenced by Swedish immigrants is unknown, but it is noteworthy that two completely disparate cultures living on the same river have the same story in their mythos, including dwarves, fairies, pixies, and elves. Well, we have a wonderful surprise in store because we'll be visiting Lindsborg for a non-stop weekend of fun and surprises. And we're gonna do some investigating too to see if we can get to the bottom of all these stories we've been hearing about gnomes. My goodness, it's like gnome world around here. And we're hoping you'll come along too. Now, Valkomen, and let's get started. And here we have arrived at Drom Sot, the Sweet Dreams Inn. Drom Sot, it almost sounds like Great Skull. Which is Swedish for the Sweet Dreams Inn. And I see they also have ice cream. They do. Yes, they have ice cream. That is so cool. And right through this door, if you don't mind. I, I feel so nervous. What are you Yes. And I believe your room is right up these stairs here. This is my wife, Juliana. Hi, Juliana. I'm Sandra. It's good to have you here. Right up the stairs, first door on the right. Thank you. Hey, great windows up here too. And it's culture loves blue and wood. Blue and red. Yes, but also wood. They decorate with lots of wood. With wood, yes, and they don't paint the wood so much. They like. A lot of it, they just need food. So wood and food and white. On the counter, it's just 
Said, to your right, of course. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Yes. It must be very blue skies in Sweden because this almost has like, almost like a uh, when you go to the beach or to the ocean when it's it's very much the same kind of colors and feel and. It just must be so blue in Sweden. I've never been. Well, it is a boat faring culture. Is it a boat yes. faring culture? Okay, because it feels it feels very um, like it's decorated near the sea or decorated near the shore. Um, it absolutely is because the Swedish Vikings were actually some of the first Europeans to arrive in North America. See, I didn't know that, but you can really get the feel of it. I know what you mean. It is. I'm so excited about these windows. We can see everything that's happening in town. That's so fun. Oh. Me too. Me too. Me too. This feels like vacation. This feels like vacation here. Yeah. Uh, the lady downstairs told us that there's a, a room by that goes around and cleans everything out of here. So we may we may run into one of those room devices. Oh my god. Okay, cool. A room by. Hey, maybe we could play some chess later. You know, I, I don't know if I told you this, but my dad taught me chess when I don't know why he did it. When I was in second grade, my dad, I have no idea why he did it. I think I still know the rules. Now, what I didn't know right here was I was about to get hustled by a chess playing shark. But well, I'm not sure rules. if I believe that. I know the rules. I know the rules. No. You I do? Guess. Okay. Well, Everybody maybe. Beats me. Well, maybe we could squeeze in a couple games. <laughs> I'm like the. Uh, what do they call that? Like the, the sparring partner. Sparring partner. Oh. Well, uh, I'm still willing to get in and get roughed up. And we just get shame. Well, Peter won right here. And Saint right here. Here you go. Yes, this looks like a decorative set. Peter the Great and Saint versus, oh wow. Oh, these are little, these are little men. Yes. These are little European warriors. I think these are, I think these are Swedish army pieces versus the Russians. You see, because Pe Peter the Great was a Russian. And these little men are dressed in Swedish clothing. And so I think we're reenacting one of the great battles here. How exciting, how exciting. I believe I will move this little guy here. <laughs> uh, I'm worried you're gonna get my you're gonna take my little guy, aren't you? Oh, I don't know. I'm really not good at this. I have no strategy. I just know the rules. So I, I have no forethought. This might take a long time. Let's go to the store instead. Okay. And Did you want to bring our fans up to the car? Please? Of course, of course. I think I'm gonna love Sweet Dreams in. I gotta tell you, right away. It's a big hit for you, huh? Yeah. Me too. And I saw a little sign there that says ice cream. I have ice cream available. Alright. You are on. And welcome to the Crown and Rye restaurant. We have some specials today. All right, you ready to go inside? Let's go. Lamb chops. Very excited to be at the Ground and Rye. Right now, I'm trying to decide between the berry salad and the spinach dip. That sounds very good. And I understand you ordered the Zinfandel. Yes, I ordered the Zinfandel and... I definitely read it 
breathe before they give it to me. And I think it tastes very, it's very smooth. And it seems like you're impressed with the bouquet. Yes, the, the surprises are the tannins. They're not all that powerful. It's a, it's a wonderful place. I feel like it's had a facelift. Well, last time we were here, this was the Swedish Crown Restaurant and Vasa Club. I saw on the street they have Carmelitos. They have they have Carmelito uh, coffee shakes here. I might get one of those later. So I'll I'll think it over. I almost was thinking about getting a Zinni too, but I said no, I'm fine. <laughs> I see we have some creamy dill potatoes here. Got the chicken cord on blue. I'm very, very happy about this. You're somebody that likes rye bread. Well, in that case, I want to share my chicken cord on blue sandwich with you. And I have the mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm, I'm ready to do a mix and match here. Very happy about that sandwich too. And it looks like you have a very special drink there. Really? Yeah. This has got your name all over it. Why don't you try it? I think you got a good drink menu there. That's what Saturdays are for anyways, right? <laughs> good drink menu. <laughs> and I love the Crown and Rye restaurant. This is an excellent restaurant here and a legacy of the town. During the 1990s and 2000s, this was the Swedish Crown Restaurant and Vasa Club. And the tradition continues today as the Crown and Rye. And it's turning out quite sunny today. I'm glad about that. Absolutely. Well, I think we have a town to investigate. Oh my goodness, this flower arrangement. I wish I had a flower pot like this. This is what a chair looks like when you're short. You're going for the bright yellow look, huh? Doing well, nice to see you. Hey, take a look at this guy. <laughs> it's like we have an honorary character here. Little did we know, seeing this gnome right here was just the beginning of things to come. Hmm. Hey, I like that sign. Ooh, look at these jigsaw puzzles. Hey, this might be a fun activity. <laughs> and what do we got here? Fresh honey. Oh, wow. Raw. You're talking to a bear that likes honey. <laughs> Two bears. I'm telling that you, like that. honey and peanut butter with raisins mixed in it. You got yourself a sandwich. Okay, I would a peanut butter and honey sandwich for lunch almost every day. My, one of my favorite part of the day is being able to lick the spoon with the honey. Hey, and you're the not supposed to do that. After I'm done. <laughs> I started making it. That's, that's not the right thing to do. Well, who does that? It's like the best part. <laughs> hey, s'mores ingredients. Mm. Wow. Well, this is a little fan that plugs into your phone. You plug it into the top of your phone. You have a phone. Fan everywhere you go. Pretty nifty. It's a beautiful hat. Hmm. Hey, what do you think about this? It's pretty pretty. I like it. Is this too billowy for you? Yes. Hey Tom, just want to 
you to know I'm having so much fun. Hey, that's my plan for today. Hey, so much fun. Hey, that's my plan, and we're just getting started. Okay. Uh, yes, that's how I feel. I'm having so much fun, and we're just getting started. Hey, so am I. Let's just keep having a great time. Hey. Effervescence. If you're wondering what's going on, Juliana had ordered the pork chops at lunch, but her eyes were bigger than her tummy and she couldn't finish them. Oh, so you, you won't hurt my feelings. What about these ones? By the way, if you love shopping, Lindsborg is the place for you. So many great shops in this town. Super cool. Nice. You hold this for a second? Yeah, yeah. I really do like those. These are so cool. We found the Collections and Essentials gift shop with paintings and postcards, the trendy Tom T boutique with cool clothes and accessories, Anderson's boutique with a K, yes, I like that. specializing oh. in Scandinavian wares, and the good merchant where we are now. And the courtyard gallery and sweet shop, which used to be the town's movie theater. <laughs> Interesting postcards. Yeah. Order. Hmm, I wonder why that was chosen. Look at these. How Interesting nice. artwork. I think both of us know a cat that would love to climb up there and go for a I do see sunshine up there. A Swedish art store. Ah. What do you say? You want to go check this out? Oh, yeah. This is called Hemslod. Hemslod. Hemslod? I'm guessing, of course. Hemslod <laughs> scavenged. <laughs> It's a Scandinavian gift store. Cool! Wow, look at the size hey, of this Swedish Hey, this pony looks a lot bigger up close. Yes, we have a giant bright red horse here. Oh, there's a butterfly on it. <laughs> and we have, a, we have a Christmas time horse. Now, we may have just come across a major clue in the case. Notice this little wooden gnome perched atop the Christmas horse. Is it possible that a child driving past in a car may have seen this little wooden man on the horse and later that night had a dream about a gnome riding a horse? Hmm, we may be getting somewhere after all. A little man that climbed up there. I'm ready to go for a Christmas ride. And you see he has a herring fish in his pot. That's what the, the Swedish eat is they, they eat fish preserved. Look like we have another character over here. Rent a quadricycle. It has some of the houses from around Lisboa on the side. Over here we have the fireman. As excited as we were to see all the happy horses of the town, especially this fire horse here and the happy man riding him, we were about to discover the real mysteries were waiting inside. And let's just say it's gnome related. Hey, cool, man. And 
nice bench to sit down. It is very comfortable. I like this. We got some really fun things to look at. And here we are in the Hymns Lodge gift shop, which is amazing. But it's also a factory because in the back they have a workshop for woodworking the dollar horses. My goodness, look at those plates with dollar horses on them. And as you can see, there's a wide assortment of different types of the little wooden horses. You wouldn't think that children love them so much, but they will spend hours playing with them. There's something captivating about Dalla horses. The most famous is the red, of course. But I think I prefer this orange one right here. Yes, I like that orange. It reminds me of a gas station I used to go to that had orange slushies. Same exact color. Ooh, those were so good. And as you can see, there's blue ones, black ones. Look at that lavender one. Oh, and the chocolate horse right next to it. Why even pink? Bright yellow. No, 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 I still believe that orange is my favorite one. And, oh, we have trolls here too. Yes, the legend of trolls actually began in Switzerland. And back hundreds of years ago, there was a large avalanche in the Swiss Alps that wiped out an entire village. And the people at that time really did believe that trolls were responsible for it. They dug out the snow and caved in the town to punish it. Wow, look at that statue with the horse. Marvelous, marvelous collectibles. Oh, and I love this artwork here too. Look at these little dolls. So special for children. Oh, and there's a nice scene too. And Godag is written at the top in Swedish, which means good day to you. And so many fun little things. Why, wow, you could decorate a whole playhouse with the things you see here and we also have some uh, items directly from Sweden. They import uh, specialty items from Sweden. And you can buy them right there in Lindsborg. Things that you would never see in a grocery store. Look at those salt and pepper shakers that are decorated like gnomes. Oh, so many special things that you could have in your house there. I like those mushroom ones back there too. Lake Sands is a, a grocer uh, in, in Sweden. Look at these Swedish candies here too. Stratus, Jop. These are Swedish cookies here called Ballerina. And Himslod Swedish pancake mix. Oh, I bet that's good. Lingonberry preserve, which is a type of jam. Look at all these nuts and crackers. Chocolade. Ole and Lena, which is kind of like the Mike and Ike of uh, Sweden. Or it's more like Bazooka Joe, where they have. Uh, sort of comical adventures that are illustrated through cartoons. Chocolade. Yes. Here we have chocolate, chocolade. Yes. From Sweden. It's chocolate made of vegetable. I mean. Oh really? Yes. Is that good or bad? Uh, this is. Very much are those jelly beans? I don't know. At the bottom, looks like it's ready to come out. A giant jelly bean roll. Here we have the Finns, the Norwegians, the Danes, and the Swedes. Really cool books here that have all the Vikings, all the other pictures and paintings. We love this. And here's a fun book called The Mitten. It's about a, a group of animals. Leaf the Lucky and Pippi Longstocking, of course, who is from, uh, very popular in Sweden and is from the storybook, but has been turned into movies and comic books and everything else. Why look at this one. It's a, it's a dollar horse pig. It's a little piggy bank. Ooh, that's a great place to save money. And we have all sorts of magnets here you can put on the front of your refrigerator. Look at that Swedish Viking boat. And wonderful mugs. It's great cups. Maybe we should get some. I like this one. Which one? This one? 
Yes, yes. it has the Swedish iconography on it. Yes, it it has a painting of Lindsborg on it. The whole town on a cup. Wow. Very cool. Now, a lot of these are Christmas themed, as you can see, because Christmas is a very, very big holiday in Sweden. I know it's big everywhere, but for the children, of Swedish families, it is all about Christmas. It is all winter long, they love Christmas. And it's a huge celebration with cakes and candles. Hey, I like those socks. We should grab them. My goodness, look at all these Christmas characters here. Well, there's a whole army of them. Now, let me ask you a question. This? Very so cool. familiar, like someone you know. Yeah, I, I mean, especially if you just take the hat away, then we're really good. Does, does that look like someone you know? Is no, the question. I don't. So you you feel like you may have seen this little fellow before. I'm gonna have to tap, uh, tap it. Yes. Yeah, I can't decide where either, but it seems like I've seen this little Through guy. Through a window, before. maybe. Let's just say that little man we saw reminded us of someone we know. The sun is coming out and it's getting very bright. By the way, today's mission is shop till you drop if you haven't already guessed. And you know what? We're just getting started. So you got me a present, huh? Yes, a surprise present. Take a look. Okay. I don't want any cookie monsters getting in there. It is cookie related, I will tell you that. You have a milk and cookie cup that has a painting of the town of Lindsborg on it. The entire town on one cup? How do you like that? Something gnomes and elves are famous for is stealing things from around the house. Your pennies and nickels, your piggy bank, they get in there. They steal your favorite spoon. Is it possible that when these things go missing around the town of Lindsborg, that the villagers can't help but wonder if a little gnome is taking them for his collection. Look at this picture. <laughs> That's a Red Barn studio here in town. And it's an art studio. I'm starting to wish that we had put a lock on that cup. Our hotel, Dromsat, was actually newly renovated and reopened in the spring of 2019. But for many, many years before that, it was known as the Swedish Country Inn. A hotel and restaurant with a fabulous dining room downstairs, furnished with chairs and tables imported from Sweden. I remember walking past the front windows one evening and seeing inside there was people in Swedish costumes sitting at the tables that were lit with candles and they had big plates of donuts in front of them. We have the Patriot Wars here. Swedish and American. Beautiful donuts. And I remember thinking, wanting to be part of it. This weekend we are, and it's been like a dream come true. A chess horse. This horse likes chess. The Anatoly Karpov International School of Chess. This man is a chess legend. He's fought many famous battles on the chess board. Here's a picture of him. And this is his school. A Russian master. And as you see, here's where he holds chess classes and teaches a new generation the War of Chess. Some interesting fellows that are also involved in the over here. Look at this fellow. Got some real characters working at this newspaper. Oh, and we have a place where you can put your letters to Santa. If you have a Christmas wish list, 
pop it right in there. And these little fellows here will make sure Santa gets it. Right now I'm wondering, could this be another clue as to why the children of town believe that there are gnomes here? Is it possible that someone at the Lindsborg Record newspaper is writing Christmas letters back to the kids and they believe that there's a little man with pen and parchment? Here's an old timer horse. Ah, the mystery deepens. And this is the bibliotech, which is Swedish for library. Now down this alley is a small park and rest area for the town to enjoy. But there is a real treasure here you don't want to miss. Because, as you can see, there is a giant double mural on both walls with scenes from a Swedish household having its Christmas celebration. And just look at that cat. There's a cat there too. But please notice all the candles and costumes. December is a very cold month in Sweden. Why I'd love to. And especially back in old fashioned times for the families to have lots of games set up by the fireplace. And after quite a bit of shopping this afternoon, we were happy to find the White Peacock Tea and Coffee Company, a very hip bookstore and coffee shop. And today's summer special on the menu board was the Firecracker, a strawberry slushy, perfect for chilling out with on a July day. Oh, this is the Salvador Dolly horse. This is called the Salvador Dalla. A strange horse. This place is legendary. The old Stuga. Yes, Mr. Spock would love it here. That's, that's the old Stuga area where you can go outside. And a mural for Beauty and the Beast. Yes, Lindsborg is very well known for its red brick road. This is called the Legacy Horse. It's a quilt pattern with the history of Lindsborg. To me this is absolutely amazing. This horse has a pictorial storytelling of the history of Lindsborg. This is a marvelous piece of artwork. Just look at it. And it was made for the town's 150th celebration. Now right here, we're in the center of downtown, about to go into the information booth, which will give us lots of everything we need to know about the town. And would you like to go in the information booth here? This is great information here at our utility all the must-see things and places to go in Lindsborg, and a spy guide. You see, this is like a scavenger hunt that they have arranged for you. You look for the Dala horses. You look for the bridge. You take your binoculars with you and just begin this search that could take you all weekend. Well, I don't know if we have time for all of that, but we have seen a number of things that are on the spy list. We've probably seen 70 or 80% of the horses, but I'll tell you the truth, every time you turn around, there's another one. And yes, they look like cookies, don't they? But we did find something on the scavenger hunt. This is the Maypole. I knew where that mural was and I found it quick. Now this horse has buildings, famous buildings from the town, like the courtyard gallery that you can see right over there that used to be the town theater. And this used to be the town blacksmith shop. It's very old. It's a coffee shop now. Right here is a tailor that makes costumes for the town. Swedish costumes. And here in front of a coffee shop, we have the coffee horse. He's kind of the cool horse. But right across the street here now is our main destination. Trolls Landa Toy Store, which they say is where if you want to find a troll, that's where they hang out. And we're here at Trollslanda. We're in Swedish. 
Command of Troll. Great toy set here. Dinosaur World. Cool. Wow. You have two dinos and a puppy up here. Two dinos and a puppy. A oh, cool Brio toys from Europe. Ah, oh, these are great. These are like the Northern European version of. Play school, you know. Yeah. Look, there's a little table you can hang out at. Hey, cool. Yeah, believe me, I could spend an afternoon here. Oops. Trust me, <laughs> I could become a collector really quick. Okay. Here's an open concept house. Yes. A staircase to go up. Ikea furniture. Yes, a puppy. Well, this has been a splendid afternoon walking through the downtown area here, but the afternoon was about to take a turn of events that we did not expect at all, and believe me, it got wild. Vehicle may aid us in today's mission. I think it will. We have acquired a buggy, also known as a carriage. Yeah. Oh, let's get ready to rumble. Since this is the fake steering wheel, <laughs> I think I better take this one. All right, well, I will let you operate the camera here. Okay. This is very exciting. Now, are you sure you're up to this? You're ready to operate this contraption, huh? Well, the good news is you have a pretend steering wheel you can operate. I'll be operating the actual steering wheel, and I'll let you take over on that pretend one. You'll have just as much fun. And remember, we have spy work to do. We have to find the escaped dollar horse. There's a wild dollar horse in the escape the town, and also, some spy work to do. We have some objects and landmarks we have to investigate and also you may have heard they say that there is a village of Swedish gnomes in this town so we may have some little men with hats on that we may have to deal with too but we'll just see what happens. Okay I'm letting I'm just gonna push my to take off. Ooh, here we go. Do you know how to break? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, I think we're doing pretty well here. And let's see if we can hang a left. Here. I if we can hang a left on this machine. Woo! Hey, we're really starting to book on this thing. Whoa! What are you <laughs> Hey, we're really rolling on this thing. <laughs> and we're on the lookout for any Swedish gnomes or little fairy tale creatures that may be out on the road today. Woo! Here we go. Sorry, I gave up there because I thought you were trying hey, to. Hey, here's a walking trail. You want to go for it? Do it! Hi Get on there, though. You, uh... Okay, we're gonna have to take a shortcut through the grass. Here we go! Here. Whoa, 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 push! Whoa! One power over this grass! Wow! One power around this turn! <laughs> hey, we went off road there for a minute. Wow! <laughs> hey, we are really smoking on this thing. Hey, look, there's a skate park. 
Don't suggest. get any ideas. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to jump the grass again. Oh, oh my God! Oh no! Oh no! What are we doing? Oh no! Oh no! How do we get? Here? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't know what kind of traffic law that was. <laughs> Are we still in Lindsborg? <laughs> maybe in jail pretty soon. <laughs> but maybe visitors in the Lindsborg jail overnight. <laughs> oh my gosh! Coming from someone who doesn't even jaywalk. That must have been thrilling for you. And if you're wondering what's happening, Juliana took over and said she wants to steer. I, did, I didn't know if I should agree to that, but it's too late. Oh, yeah. oh no! Pretty much demanded it. And in the meantime, I'm on the lookout for the enemy, also known as the gnome. Should I go right? No, let's keep going straight. You haven't seen Lindsborg until you've seen it by bicycle. The best way to visit Lindsborg is via buggy. Yep. That's the only way to go. Which way do you want to go, straight or turn? Let's turn and visit the hotel. This way? Yes, let's drive by our hotel. Why not? Maybe we'll see the hotel staff and wave at them. Great. And there's the bar and grill next door. And here we are at the Sweet Dreams Inn. We love our hotel. We do. We love our hotel. Beautiful, vibrant. And they told ourselves to help ourselves to ice cream and sodas. So do you turn right here? Let's bust a U-turn. All right, I'm busting a U-turn right here. Oh, look at this one. This one's oh, we have found a mysterious horse. This is the Ghost Rider. Wow. That is a scary looking horse. That is one bad honcho. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wow, wow. We got some papa power in this thing. Whoa, it's like a hemi now. Hey, let's go ride. Okay. Best signal. Bing, bing, Maybe we bing, should bing. hit the brake. Hit the brake. And we're going right. Let's go! Yep, we're going for it. And this is the famous Main Street building. Look, it's Wishbone. Hello, little dog. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Good ride. Thank, Thank you. you. The Red Barn Studio and Museum. It's a place for painters. This one. Yes, this is a church horse. Yes. A blue church horse. Hey, let's bust a U-turn right here. Wow. Found the perfect avenue to do it in. And we did a loop-de-loop -loop and we're re-approaching downtown Lindsborg. Full speed ahead. Woo! Does this thing have any weapons or torpedoes? Um, okay, I'm gonna pretend this is a laser. Okay. <laughs> we're vaporizing the, the enemy. We see enemy trolls and gnomes. We will zap them. Yep, we'll hitting the high gear. Make it so. Hello. Oh, 
Let's just say I'm scared out of my wits after that. That's why you don't let me drive. <laughs> I've been through a lot, folks. I did put him into oncoming traffic. We almost got wiped out by the car. That was a wild adventure. Well, this has been a wild afternoon, to say the least. But how about we change the scenery a little bit just to jazz things up? It's time to jump in the car and cruise up the road a short ways to another Swedish community called Asaria, just a few miles north and then east of Salemsburg. It's a quiet little place with a few hundred people living there. And it also has an old school building that was closed down years ago. But the good news is, it's now been converted into a magnificent eatery called the Renaissance Cafe. We've been here many times, and they actually remember our names by now. It's such an easy drive from Wichita, just a straight shot up Interstate I-135 and hang a right takes 45 minutes. I wish I could tell you this place was our little secret, and maybe in the previous time it was, but the truth is we had to make our dinner reservations two weeks in advance for tonight. You see, the city of Salina is 10 minutes north of this area, and on Friday and Saturday nights, many of the town's who's who are in line here for Alfredo noodles, garlic bread with butter, but don't forget the cheesecake. By the way, this is kind of our hobby on weekends. We love going to Italian restaurants and touring the menu step by step. And we have been to the finest establishments. Carabas in Wichita, Martinelli's Little Italy in Salina, Il Vicino and the Bella Luna Cafe at Bradley Fair in Wichita. And we also like fast food Italian. We think Fizzoli's is so good. And it's such great prices too. But if you're ever in the Salina area and you really want a magical place to sneak away to, see if they can slip you in at the Renaissance Cafe. And get there early. Bolognese. I'm very excited. Hey, I did! 
I'm super excited. I'm astonished by this. I'm so ready to do this. And we have a basket of bread. By the way, I'm going to share it too. You're absolutely welcome to have some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> we just love this. We love this so great. Oh, this is so it's so beautiful. Yes! The rain shot out of them. We just love antiques. I just wanted, oh Mike, you're so kind. Oh, this must be 80 years old. Uh, 1913. Wow, over 100 years old. 1913. Actually, it's a uh, mercantile register. It's got three keys for three different drawers for three different tellers. So when you were working and you were ringing up a customer, you put your key in, turn the key, run the register, the drawer would open, you put the money in. As evening began to close in, we found the Valkman Bridge on the south edge of town and the Smoky Hill River of ancient American lore. Part of the where he has the dress and the wig on. <laughs> Feeling like E.T. right now. I feel like E.T. where he, the part where he has the dress on and the wig on. That is a classic moment for E.T. That's what I feel like. For him personally. <laughs> I mean. So how does one pronounce this? This is the Valkaman Bridge, which is on our spy mission list, you may remember. And this, of course, is the legendary Smoky Hill River. It was named the Smoky Hills because back in the old days, they could see the Native American smoke signals. You could still smell the smoke. I think somebody's having a good cookout. Old Mill Bridge, rehabilitation, Very famous river, great bridge that goes over it. This used to be the entrance into town, but the bridge is too old now. It's been retired. The gentle Smoky Hill River continues winding 15 miles north of here through downtown Salina, a city with a 70,000 population that holds an arts and crafts celebration every summer called the Smoky Hill River Festival cool water slide. It's called Thor's Revenge. And here at the river's edge is the Smoky Hill Roller Dam, an old grain and flour mill that was in use until the mid-1950s. But who knows what else could be found here too. Hmm, how mysterious. Looks like we have a mysterious location back here. We have a gateway arch. Here at the old mill, it almost seemed as if there was something calling to us. And when we discovered this stone archway, we knew we had to investigate further. As it seemed, there were secrets waiting to be revealed down the steps below. And as we continued exploring the old mill, we imagined how it must seem to be a gnome running around here. It's like a huge castle with stone walls, fortress towers, and also cogs and clockworks, and old machinery inside. Yes, a perfect home for a gnome, I would say. They say that there's a village of little people, also known as gnomes and trolls. Right here by the Smoky Hill River. What do you think? Maybe a village of gnomes? It's here by the river. Do you think some part of it could be true? Some part of it could be true. Indeed. This seems like the perfect place for little people to hide. Especially if you are a little gnome with a beard and a cap. You wear little suspenders, bib overalls, little wooden shoes. <laughs> if I was a little gnome with a pointed hat and a Christmas outfit, 
I think this is right where I would like to live too. So you can't blame a little person for doing what little little elves and gnomes like to do, which is have everything just the way they want it. Say, I like to have my way. I like getting my way. That's what those little people say. They love living in places like this. They love going down to the river and washing their clothes. Having little outfits to wear. Boy, they love that. Did you hear that? Hey. That sounded like more than the current. Hmm. All of a sudden, the waves got very peculiar once you started talking about little people. Well, this was a surprise ending to our day here. What an unexpected punctuation mark. Right when we were discussing how easy it is to imagine a gnome hiding be below this old mill by the river, we heard a sudden splash. It sounded like someone tossing a rock into the water, but there was nobody down there. How unusual. I suppose it could have been a turtle jumping from the river bank into the water, but it really did sound like there was a little man down there who lifted up a big rock and tossed it in like he was saying, take that, jump. But again, maybe it's easy to imagine these things if that's a legend you carry with you. Maybe the original settlers of Linsborg brought stowaways with them. Or maybe they brought bedtime stories with them. The dwarves and elves and sugar plum fairies of the midnight mind who dance down the staircase as the grandfather clock chimes. And by the way, we would really like to say a special thank you to the staff of Drom Sot, the Sweet Dreams Inn. We got to watch a monster movie this night they left some treats out for us and some hot cocoa too and the next morning there was a special smorgasbord with Swedish pastries and Swedish meatballs and stroganoff and ligonberry jam on Swedish rye crackers and lutefisk which is a dried and pickled white fish from the ocean but just in case you're not quite ready for Swedish cuisine, that's okay, because they also made a big pan of breakfast burritos. In conclusion, all we can say is that if you live anywhere within 200 miles of Lindsborg, you really don't want to miss out. Please come visit the town and stay at the Sweet Dreams Inn. And believe me, you will only begin to unlock the mysteries that will be waiting for you here. Well, anyway, hej salong, which in Swedish means bye for now.